Good Thursday morning, YouTube! <laughs> Welcome to the vlog today. This is another day on no sleep, or whatever I want to call it like that. I pulled all nighter yesterday, got some school caught up. Not quite as much as I wanted to get done, because I didn't have any coffee. I need to start having coffee before my all nighters, but anyway. This is the plan today. I think I'm actually going to get some of these Rubik's Cubes listed. Some more personal items. Some crazy ones here. I can sell this one when I added. Can't quite. <laughs> and some watches over there, so I'm going to have to figure out what I want to get listed, but personal stuff today. Probably get a couple watches or a couple cameras or something else listed. If I get these two charges in for these, I'll get those listed. But for the most part, I'm focusing on personal stuff today. See how much I can get knocked out in a single day. Hopefully like 20 auctions or something like that. Let's get into the vlog. <laughs> Some strong stuff there. Got the dark, intense caramel coffee back in the house. Yeah, so I switched back to the old focusing system. I'm not liking it, so I'm going to have to figure out exactly what to do there. Didn't show anywhere near the full solve of that, but there's that void cube solved up. Parity fixed. I'm figuring out which lots to put these in. So far, I have a lot of 10 cubes here, a lot of 10 cubes there. Probably lot those two up to phantom cubes. Translucent cubes would go in some various lot. White cubes, all going in this lot. I might throw in a couple extras here, like those. And that one, this is a bonus, big lot of white cubes. And then I'll put a few more lots. Not as difficult as I thought to lot up, and I'm getting them all going. So I show this here once it's all completed and put back together, but cubes that I don't know how to solve, which there are very few of them in my collection, but this is one of them. This one over here, I probably could have learned how to solve, but I just took it apart. And what I do with those, I take them apart, put them back together. I'll show you what this one looks like when it's completed. This is a conjoined mirror blocks that I just never learned how to solve. Okay, there you go. Like I said, this one went all back together. This is a conjoined mirror blocks cube. Pretty funky. If you separate this one piece here, you know, this can turn in all funky directions. But that one's now solved. Most of these are, and I almost have all the lots figured out. Let's figure out the final lots and start getting those pictured. It's pretty crazy. This is actually Dealer's original Rubik's Cube from the 1980s. His dad and him put some of this uh, graphite in there, so it actually moves pretty well. So I'm definitely hanging on to that one. That one's not being sold. After a bit of contemplation and figuring it all out, I figured out where I'm going to hide these lots into. These are the ones I'm keeping. That is dad's cube, my cube I'm going to use, and I'm keeping that one because it's basically the best of its type. I'm not planning on selling all my cubes because I'm not into cubing anymore. I'm selling them because we're going on the road, so I'm going to be buying a set of good cubes. This is one of those sets. One of the set. And that probably this one my sister, she liked that one. And let's see, this is the second lot here, or the first lot I should say, because that one's not being sold. Some various little shape changers, a bunch of scrambled stuff that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> Spear stickers, and then this is the third lot here, or the second lot, I should say. Three Mega Minxes, a Skube, and a Pure Minx. It's the third lot, 7x7, 5x5, 3 4x4s, one of them pillowed. This is the fourth lot. Two mirror blocks, two translucent, two phantom cubes, a void cube, and a weird cube there. These are all the black plastic cubes. A couple weird color scheme ones there, and a couple in not great shape, but that is a pretty big lot. It should sell pretty well. Ten various 3x3s, three all turning pretty well. Ten various 3x3s, three all turning pretty well. Including this one right here, which is actually like a $17 cube retail. So, should turn pretty well for somebody. They want to lube that one all up and get it all back to working order. I haven't used it in a while, so it's not in great shape. Big lot of white plastic cubes. White and primary plastic, which is kind of this clearish stuff. It's before they dye it. And then, let's see here. I have a vintage two Alexander Stars and a vintage Pyraminx lot. Mini cube lot. 1980s Rubik's Cube lot. Normal Rubik's Cube lot, so this one's from like 1999, and all the other ones are later than that. A few other various little puzzles I threw in there. Picture Cube lot, all different types of picture cubes, I have some stands for those. I'll throw along with those two probably. Large Cube lot, this one's going to be an interesting one because I have the super big cube, which is the biggest one in production. I have the 10 centimeter cube, and I need to find the charger for the light cube here. This is a really cool cube, it's one I was looking for for a long time. So that one should sell pretty well. I have to find the charger for it though. It's a little USB thing. 
got lost somewhere so I know where that probably is but I need to find that so I guess that's about it not a whole ton of lots and it should be pretty self-explanatory I'll definitely do one more sweep at home to make sure I got all of them had some various little cubing mats and cubing timers here too probably sell but all in all about ready to go let's get some pictures here before we go home also for the road instead of bringing that whole crazy display case of watches that you've seen this is one of about four or five watches I'm looking at buying which will basically fill up my collection in a few different areas. This one is a cool watch right here. Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro, 600 meters water resistant, GMT function. So you can see the price there, it's pretty pricey, but worth every penny. It's basically the same quality as a Rolex for a lot cheaper. So I'll be buying that one here probably in a couple months. That's, on the, that's about the first one on my list. Probably once I sell those watches, and once I get most of these listed here. This watch right here has a potential of being about 250 or even a little bit more, so she has some good money there. I just have to start getting those listed. Wow, well that took a little while there, picturing all these cubes. Ha, <laughs> guess I still have to get them edited, so I'll show you the finished product here in just a minute. Got a little bit fancy with all the photoing though, so I guess that took me like an hour and a half. So some may say it's kind of strange for a scooter rider, but I'm way into skateboarding videos and stuff. I was just watching this one. Fancy Lads is this skateboarding video. This is art. <laughs> just say that. I'm in uh, 21 minutes. I think I'm probably going to take a break until I can concentrate on a little bit more as I edit these cube photos. But this is a masterpiece of a skate video. <laughs> Very strange. Modern art is not a white blank canvas on a wall. This is modern art. Not just this exact freeze frame, but this film in general. This guy is nuts. Inspiration. Think I'm going to try and put some normal trucks on this thing. I'm trying to skate that today. Okay, photos edited here, and I definitely experimented with the color and all different types of things I could do with these cubes. That's the first photo there. Just kind of going through here. I had some really crazy setups with a bunch of different patterns and all kinds of crazy stuff. Just getting creative with all the shots. I'm not sure this glare I get on my camera is on the screen, but whatever. That right there, that's pretty crazy. And see, I put in that pattern, solved it. A lot of fun with these photos. Definitely took a little bit longer than usual. There's those mini cubes there, so that's all macro stuff. Like those right there are super tiny. Just more. Basically, I up the saturation a little bit and up the contrast a little bit, so they pop a little bit more. But they are pretty poppy in real life. I didn't do anything major. Good lots. Should sell. Great pictures. Pretty happy with them. There's a couple here that are minorly out of focus, which kind of bothers me. Like that one there, I think is, yeah. Just a tad because I had to use a little bit slower shutter speed. But like that shot right there, that's a cool shot. Good composition and everything. Anyway, I think I'm probably going to build that skateboard and go back home and get some tricks. And then when I get back, I'll get these listed. <laughs> Okay, well, poor hardware, poor trucks. I think this will make this even more fun. Let's see if this actually will fit this board even. Nope, not quite. Let's see what we'll have to do to make them fit. Might have to drill some new holes here. Well, <laughs> possibly could be the worst idea ever. Let's try and attach it with only two bolts on one side, so not even diagonally, because none of the holes line up on this side and they line up on this side, so. Let's just quickly try that and see how that turns out. Don't have a drill easily accessible here, all my stuff's at home. Well, so it's working fantastically. My hardware barely fits, so if it, I can even get trucks to moan on here. Oof, that's gonna be super tight. The schoolie's way in there. I don't know. This may be a whole lost cause right here. Another brilliant idea. I have these screws, wood screws. Let's try that. This is going to be the ricketyest, weirdest board ever. Okay, not quite. I'm sure people have tried this before. Anyway, let's see if I can get them to fit on there now. <laughs> well, one bloody finger and like the most ridiculously ghetto, weird skateboard later. There it is. Definitely have to make sure I land on the bottom there. There are bent screws. Seems reasonably solid. And get some tricks on that. That thing is the weirdest. That's not gonna last very long. And I don't even know why I built it. But anyway. Let's probably list a few cubes until Dealer gets here, then let's get home and get some tricks on that thing. So one thing I forgot to mention here, I have a dangerous new toy. Watch this here. If I can get this thing to go quick, go correctly. There you go. This is a new knife, the Cold Steel Tri-Light 4, the aluminum handle. Pretty fancy little pocket knife there. 
Just bought one of this to replace my other knife, which I have here, and this thing is really dull. This is a Gerber that I use for box opening and stuff, and that thing is super, super dull. So, I'll probably sharpen it at some point, and the cold steel is not 100% sharp, surprisingly, from the thing. It's not an automatic knife, it has this kind of cool little neural thing, which catches on your pocket as you pull it out, allow it for instant release out of the pocket, and that has like a thumb stud for popping it open normally. It's quite a crazy knife, that should last me for quite a while. It's my new EDC, I guess, if you want to call that. Man, I have a lot of doubts if you ain't getting even on this thing, much less do tricks on it, but I guess I'm going home on my boosted scooter. You know, I'm a sick vlogger now with my crazy tripod and all. But I think I'll just grab a couple of tricks here while I'm still at work. Just try to ride around a little bit, may go up, come back, a few other things. Let's just see what is possible. This is gonna be the sketchiest, weirdest skateboard I've ever ridden. I can't even ride a skateboard, so it's gonna be great. Before this thing breaks, let's try to get a couple more tricks on it. Let's go for just right off the curb there, first off. And there goes your truck. Nope, not working. Well, I'm satisfied, whatever the case may be, but that shows you what sporad sporadic decisions and sporadic ideas get you. Not a lot. Two different clips out there. Let's go try the stuff I was going to try out there on this Cryptotics old school board. Let's just see if I can get anything cool. Well, it should be too crazy. Yeah, this is definitely pretty scattered feeling though. But I'm gonna try my first dropping on a skateboard, which this is not really a quarter pipe of any sort. But just gotta stand here and drop in. Let's see here. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna try and get the wheels down a little bit more. Extra extension on there and see if that adds a utility to this thing. Okay, there you go, all set up. Sort of a weird drop in thing. Let's just roll into it, try to roll off the end, a few other different quick things. First, let's just try it. Got a tail stall. Clips. These are kind of lame. Let's try a few scooter things on this thing. Yes, got it. Well, a couple of quick tricks there. I think I'll go back to work. Let's go to work. Okay, so a bunch of different cubes listed here. That's one lot, two lots, three lots, and I'm working on the fourth one right here. So all the different white cubes. <laughs> Just look at this one side here, cube for you, and look at that discount there. Whoa, it was $12.99. Now I can save negative 285% and give her $50. <laughs> now I'm having trouble with this, or trying to figure out the brand names on a lot of these cubes. Very difficult. If you don't know them, so probably going to be sold as a reasonably unbranded lot. Okay, so it's the next morning after those previous clips there. I did not film an outro for the vlog. I'm just going to open these listings here that I listed all those cubes, and I'll show you quickly why I listed each one of them. Okay, so 13 auctions total. Here's the first one here, just 10 cubes. Second one is another 10, 16 different black plastic cubes. And the next one there, white cubes. This one has one watcher. These are basically some more vintage or earlier speed cubes, which is kind of interesting. It took a lot of research to figure that out. Probably took me like an extra 30 minutes there, but if anybody's into cubing, which I'm sure you aren't, Ghost Hand 2, Alpha 5, Shang N, those are cubes that haven't been manufactured for six or seven years. Definitely hard to find early in the speed cubing game. There is a lot of this miscellaneous phantom cubes. Those two right there are pretty expensive, so that's why it's priced up a little bit. A lot of six mini cubes, again, those are pretty expensive. Uh, five different Rubik's Cubes, including a mini 7x7, which those retail for around 45 Mega Minxes, 
Uh, some miscellaneous puzzles. Alexander Stars and a original Pyraminx there from the late 70s. There's a lot of 1980s Rubik's Cubes, 10 of those. A lot of Rubik's brand cubes. A lot of 11 Rubik's picture cubes, all different pictures and subject matters and stuff. And I guess that's about it. So 13 listings. Finally not those all out, and I got them all done in one day, except for the one I couldn't find the charger there. But I think that's what I'm going to end off this vlog for today. I think it was a little bit longer one than usual, which is interesting. I'm not exactly sure what I filmed, I'm going to have to look at that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe below if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for another vlog tomorrow, which I'm filming right now. Noah out. Goodbye.